My um, brief today is to speak about post-extraction ridge alterations and to pose the question whether this has an impact or has an influence on aesthetic outcomes. Now, we're all here because we're interested in dental implantology. And unfortunately, if we place a dental implant, then a tooth has to be taken out. So the sad fact of the matter is that the dental implant placement is a consequence of some catastrophic event that has resulted in the loss of a tooth. And we know that when teeth are taken out, the body is very efficient. The body heals itself, as you can see in the slides here, post-extraction. But there are certain changes that take place to the underlying bone, or what we, what we like to refer to as these dimensional alterations that take place to the contour of the bone. And of course, this has then implications for the supporting soft tissues. So as you can see from the final restoration, in this particular case of an upper canine tooth, we have certain soft tissue changes that have taken place of the tooth to implant papilla, as well as to the contour or the facial contour of the final restoration and the housing in the bone. So for my presentation today, what I'd like to do is to present you with three, uh, in three sections. Firstly, a quick review of healing of extraction sockets. Secondly, to look at the data on dimensional healings that occur during this healing process. And then to pose the question as to what these implications might be for aesthetic outcomes. So let's start by looking at healing of extraction sockets. And firstly, we need to understand and remind ourselves that the alveolar process uh, is part of the jawbone. And it's present in dentate individuals. So whether it's a maxilla or a mandible, the jawbone consists of two parts, the basal bone and the alveolar process. 